Well, hello, Doomers, and welcome to the 18th map of No SP3. And this is post commentary uh, because the ending's pretty tough. Um, first off, you get the first two secrets right away, so don't gotta worry about the secrets in this map as long as you grab the Berserk. And what you want to do is after you fall down a hill, I like to grab a Mega Sphere and then rush through these imps and go to the left side first. Now, I find it pretty important to go to the left side because uh, it's much easier to survive because the arch files will. It, you don't want to get close to the arch files, you'll see in a second. But this map is pretty fun. Uh, I believe this is the map uh, which references. Uh, or which. Uh, was referenced by uh, Junk Food 2 Map 60 uh, Q by Brent Dondal. Uh, yeah, so I believe that's where that Junk Food map got the inspiration from, is this map. Uh, because of the ending fight. But this beginning really isn't too bad. Um, the hardest part is the eight arch files. Uh, you see, I got stuck by this sound nice for a bit, but you know. We just, we just walk, we walk around them. And this mini fight, uh, it's not hard at all. You can just kill some revenants. Now, I actually ended up leaving a revenant in this fight somehow. Which cost me like a minute at the end. Which is kind of annoying. Like, what revenant? Like, did I not kill him? I'm so stupid, what? How did I... Okay. Yep, uh, I missed that revenant somehow. I thought I killed it, I guess. But anyways, once you grab the key, uh, there's going to be four arch files here. And yeah, they like to zap you. Uh, I like to go over here. And I also like to save that last megasphere uh, for after this er area. But from here, uh, I basically use uh, the rockets I've given even though I've, I missed the rockets in the that spawned in so I was pretty low on rockets in this run but the four arch files I just like to hurt uh, this area because they're just too overwhelming and they have too many imps and we get to deal with another four where we grab this key and we're going to push right through them And again, Archviolence can resurrect themselves, which makes this uh, even more tedious. And also, uh, this was the first run of the day. I did a few attempts, like, the day before, but I wasn't really... I didn't really think I was going to get it. And this attempt, this was the first attempt of the day. So I was pretty happy with that. Uh, just a few attempts before work. I really didn't think I was going to do it. I thought I was going to upload tomorrow. But, you know, sometimes uh, you just you just win. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you're a winner, sometimes you lose. It's a game of um, poker. Anyways, we're going to uh, deal five cards here. And shoot these cacodemes to death with our rockets. Oh! Uh -huh. Wow! Wow! Okay, now we have both keys. We can get out of here. And here's where I save the megasphere at. Uh, so I can rush through these arch files. And watch out, they're scary, they're scary. Also, if you get knocked off, you're instantly dead, so don't get knocked off. Like the last arch file didn't hit me. And here is the room. This is the main room. This is a scary fight. It's a fun one. Uh, first off, I want to grab the BFG, grab some ammo before you press this. Because the ammo is really hard to grab. Um, and you're going to have a bunch of cyber demons at first. I also like to punch right away to wake up all that the barons. And you're going to have to push through these barons. Now what I like to do, just like in uh, Brandondo's map Q, uh, I like to shoot a... Whoa. I like to shoot a BFG like that, and then I can double BFG right through the barons. And slowly go along this wall just to waste time, because we're just waiting for the barons to leave the area. 
That's it. I really don't care about killing stuff because they'll infight each other. Just, just trying to live, by the way. Let's see, with the double BFG, I mean, it's light work of the Barons. And again, slowly going all around the wall. And two bullets left. And now no bullets. And, and by bullets I mean cells. And again, we're still waiting for these barons to leave. As you can see, I'm kind of trapped here. How do I even live this? Let's see. Oh, okay. I found an opening. And get some cells, but of course I get rocketed for that. Also, there's a bunch of uh, Astro Kakos. They're at least easy to get through. And here, I found a button, so I press it. When you press this button, I believe it's going to spawn a bunch more Astro Kakos from these sides. And you just want to wait them out, and then you can press the buttons, uh, which they are guarding. Which will kill all the Cyber Demons. And here, uh, just pressing the button. And once we press this next button, we're pretty much good on this fight. Luckily, Junk Food 2's uh, Map 60 really prepared me for this. Like, actually. <laughs> um, and yeah. So then just the leftover cybers. Uh, I still like kind of play a bit safe here just because I wanted health to go in uh, for the... When I kill the arch files in the beginning. Because I need, a, I need enough health to like take a few arch file shots. And oh, also I should mention that the floor here is damaging. It's a damaging floor. And it does 20 damage. So, I mean, even though we got way more health than normal in this wad. Uh, it's still gonna do damage to us. What's this map called? Oh, downhill. Okay, makes sense. I need to press the switch. Uh, I believe I press it right now. I think. Jumps up the exit. And I decided to grab some health to make sure I really don't die, which. Did work out because I took a few hits. So yeah, you can go back like you can in almost every no SP map, which is amazing. I love I love that. Uh, and here we are, Arch Files. And yeah, they're all in here, which is pretty nice. I don't know why I thought single shotgun would be smart, but you know, single shotgun action. Uh, and okay, so here's the last enemy, which was, if you remember, that revenant that I thought I killed, but I didn't. And unfortunately, it's the very last place I check. So, um, enjoy me walking around for 
a minute of doing nothing. But, uh, this map is... I guess I'll talk about the map some more. You know, map was fun. Uh, I like I like the beginning idea. Although, even though the arch files are a bit annoying, I mean, it's like... It does add the difficulty. It's where the difficulty comes from. So, it makes sense. Um, really enjoyable last fight. Uh, especially. Going through those barons is quite memorable. And man, I gotta say, I've really been enjoying this wad so far. It is like just the right amount of difficulty for it just to be fun. You know, like, uh, man, like, I, I don't even like, I guess like, I like subconsciously try to upload every day, but you know, I just, I'm just always so excited to play the next map. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. Oh, I killed him. Oh my god. Uh, so yeah. Um, I don't know how the rest of the WAD will be, though. I'm sure it gets a lot harder. But anyways, I'm still waiting for Hardfest 2 to be released. It's a release candidate mode. I'm waiting for that. I'm gonna be making a playthrough on that, by the way, when that comes out. Don't don't worry. Uh, but yeah, anyways, downhill, done 11 minutes, 23 seconds. This has been a Brain Freeze exclusive episode. Brain Freeze in the chat. Brain Freeze, Brain Freeze, yeah, okay. Uh, demo description, thank you guys for watching.